Midjourney just released the newest version 5.2, so I thought we can take a quick look at it. So they have this new aesthetic system, improve aesthetics and sharper images. Yes, slightly improved coherence and text understanding. I like that. Increased diversity and I upgraded the stylized command. They also had this new high variation mode. I tried it out and it's quite cool. You can choose between high variation and subtle variations. That was very cool. And some new shortened commands so you can get suggestions and analyze prompts. And this I found very interesting. This new zoom features. You can zoom out 1.5, two times. Sometimes your images like get cropped out. So like half of the head is missing. But with this feature, I already tried it. You can kind of zoom out to get the full face if you need that so we're gonna take a look at that and that is pretty much it so i think we're just gonna head over to my website grab the prompt that i updated for 5.2 and start testing some images since i'm gonna be using ChatGPT to write my prompts here uh, i have this prompt on my website i'm gonna leave a link to this so basically this is updated for 5.2 now so this gives uh, instructions to ChatGPT how I want my photos to look. It can create prompts looking at examples from this. So I'm just going to copy this and head over to ChatGPT. Then I'm just going to paste in the prompt here. Click submit. Just going to stop it there. Okay, so then I'm just going to go great. Create a prompt of your interpretation of a portrait of a professional female boxer captured mid-punch cinematic photo. Okay, so we got the prompt here. All I have to do now, copy this, head over to mid-journey. Slash imagine, paste the prompt, and hit enter. Okay, so we got the results here. So you can see this looks pretty cool, right? I guess the one on the right here is a bit weird because we have this red paint. But the other ones look perfect, in my opinion. So I want to show you the new zoom feature. So let's say image number three here. Uh, it's kind of cropped, right? You're missing the top of the head. So I'm just going to click on upscale number three. And then we get these alternatives here. We can zoom out two times, one point time, we even have a custom zoom. So I'm just going to click on 1.5x. And here you can see now we have basically the full head. So let's say I like number two best here. So I'm just going to click on upscale that. And now we can compare them. So this was the first image we had, right? And if you look at this one now, wow, that looks amazing, right? So you can see we went from this to this. And that is perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. Sometimes this one doesn't fit in what you want to use it. Zoom, zoom out a bit and yeah, perfect. We can also take a look at the new variations. So now we have two here. We have subtle, so I can click on subtle variations and I want to click on strong variations. And let's compare those. Here we have the subtle variations and if we take a look here, we have the strong variations. So you can see there's quite a big difference here. Here are the subtle one, right? They're quite similar uh, to our original image. But if we look at this one, these are, these are quite a big or a big difference, right? You can see we went from this to this and like from this over to this. So this is basically kind of almost new images, but they are keep exactly the same style. You can see the clothes are kind of exactly the same, but the angles and the faces are a bit more varied. So yeah, I really appreciate this new feature. So I think it's going to be great to play around with. Okay, so let's go back to ChatGPT and try a few different prompts. So I'm just going to edit this now, remove this, create an interpretation of, uh, let's say, an old man, deep in thought, clean background. That is kind of my favorite prompt. I want it quite simple, not a lot of things going on in the background. So let's try this out. Okay, let me just copy that, head back to my journey, slash, imagine, paste, and let's hit enter. Yeah, this looks very good. So you can see here, I really like number one, but I think like his head is kind of cropped. So let me just fix that. Yeah, so we went from this, right? His head was kind of cropped here to this. Perfect. Couldn't, couldn't ask for it to be better than this, right? So yeah, I'm really impressed by this new feature. This is something I'm going to be using a lot. Now let's try create a prompt of your interpretation of a cat in armor running in the streets of New York. I don't see any armor, but I absolutely love this image. So you can see, I really like how close the camera is to the ground, right? And we got this backdrop of sunlight here. I kind of wanted to try the two times zoom out here. So let's test that and see how that works. So we went from this, right, over to this. Wow, that is so cool. I really like how it stretches out over the road there. So it kind of took basically the exact image, but it kind of just zoomed out. And we got some vision motion effect here, like this blur on the side that kind of represents some speed, right? So very happy with this. Very cool. Now I want to try your interpretation of a woman walking down the street in a dress. 
Okay, so we have this one. So let's say I like number four here, this one. But I kind of was hoping I can see like her whole legs. So what happens now if we go to this image and we click on zoom out two times? So kind of interested, can we see like her legs and maybe her shoes? Let's find out. Okay, this is not half bad. I kind of see some of her legs, right? And I think it did a pretty good job here. Uh, maybe it's not perfect. I think the left leg is a bit strange. I don't know. But anyway, it worked pretty well. So let's try. Uh, th there's also a feature here called make square. So let's try that. So yeah, you can see we went from this size. This is kind of like the 4-5 aspect ratio. We went over to a 1-1. One, one. So this is a perfect square, right? And that's this could come in handy if you need some images that has to be in the same uh, or like the square format. So yeah, pretty interesting. We also have something called custom zoom. So I just wanted to show you that too. So if you click on here, what we can do now is actually change up the aspect ratio. So if we go from zoom two, put in zoom one, and then we can change the aspect ratio here. So let's do 16 by nine and just click submit. Oh yeah, this worked out very good. So you can see we kind of went from this over to this. That is pretty cool, right? We kind of expanded the whole portrait. We turn it around. Uh, yeah, very impressed by this. Kind of reminded me a bit of the new Photoshop uh, generative fill feature from Adobe. So yeah, cool. So this is the image I have on my thumbnail. So I kind of wanted to do a custom zoom on this to see if we can do like a crazy aspect ratio. So let's say we go from zoom 2 to aspect ratio. I want to go 32.9. So that is going to be like a huge wide photo, kind of a small one. So let's see if this works. Oh wow, that turned out amazing. So look at this. This is what we started with, right? And look at this. Wow, this looks very cinematic. It's kind of like a perfect... It looks like it's some kind of epic battle going on in the background here. Wow, really impressed by this. This is something I want to play around with a lot. Next, I want to go your interpretation of a close-up of a cyborg human eye. This looks awesome, right? So if we take a look here, look at this. This is perfect for like a thumbnail or something, at least for the videos I make. But what I wanted to try to do here was to use the same as we did in the previous one. So I want to upscale, let's say number two here. And I want to try to expand it to see what kind of images we get then. So we went from this over to this. Uh, it looks good, but it kind of creepy because you can see here the eye ends here. That's a bit strange. And that kind of travels over to this image. So I want to try another one. So then we went from this over to this, and yeah, I think this looks better, but it's still kind of creepy. I don't know. Uh, yeah, looks cool, but a bit creepy. So yeah, that was basically the new 5.2, trying to combine it with ChatGPT to create some awesome images. I gotta say, I really enjoyed the new Zoom feature, that was very cool, and that is gonna be something I'm gonna be taking a lot of advantage of when creating different stuff. Uh, also, like the new images, of course, they look great. Uh, I wasn't expecting anything else. Uh, so I'm gonna be playing around with it. Maybe I discover something new I didn't kind of try in this video. Zoom feature, very happy with that. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. See you in the next one.